This one opens the same way. So let's open this guy. Lighting in this office is terrible. So another day at work, servers over here that I'm getting set up, server and laptop over here that I'm getting set up. But I figured I might as well do another Asus laptop unboxing. Now this is an Asus Vivo book. This is model S512F as in Frank. So Sam 512 Frank. I don't know military terminology, so I don't even know if that was right. I've enjoyed doing these laptop unboxings and because of my job, I a lot of times get to work with different laptops. So I figured we'd do an unboxing on this. I'll open it up just like I did the other ones, let you know what I think, what it would be good for, and the reason somebody would want to buy a laptop with these type of specs. I've realized that if my boss ever like looks at these cameras and sees me doing this, he's not going to have a clue what I'm actually doing. But I swear, it would take me like 10 minutes to unbox that and get it set up and running. And by making a YouTube video out of it, it only takes like 15 or 20. So I need more light. That helps a little. All right, let's get to the unboxing. So as I normally like to do, show you a little bit of the outside of the box. Asus, Vivo book, model number and stuff on the side. As you can see, this is a $700 laptop. The back just has your specs and your fire info. There's a little bit of the specs, but I'll go into more detail on that once I have it powered up. And of course, nothing along the bottom. And the top is just a nice Asus uh, handle. Asus Vivo book. Let's get into this thing. And just like all other Asus laptops, this one opens the same way. So let's open this guy up. It'll, uh, there we go all right so just like normal in search of incredible up here this is a silver laptop by the way i don't think i mentioned that nice little power brick i like that it's smaller in size it's, i show you a, i'll show a comparison to my asus mine's like huge compared to this and this here is the laptop itself. Ooh, look at that silver metal look that it has going on there. I have never seen these little bumpers on a laptop before. That's, that's a little different. Speakers on the bottom. Vents for air. Look at that. That is a pretty nice keyboard. Nano Edge Display, USB-C Type, NVIDIA Graphics, 10th Gen i5. This is a pretty nice laptop. So that's the uh, laptop itself. Is there paperwork, paperwork, and cardboard. All right, so that, uh, that seems to basically do it for the unboxing. Let's boot this thing up and uh, let me tell you what I think. Now, as I mentioned, this is the power brick to my Asus laptop. And uh, this is the power brick to the laptop that I'm setting up. As you can see, it's just, it's much smaller in the hand. I, I like that feeling better than, than this. This takes up my whole hand. This doesn't take up my whole hand. And by the way, always please people take this plastic off of your chargers. I have seen people leave the plastic on their chargers and it is not good. Definitely a fire hazard. And I'll say, I mean, that's plugged in and it goes well above my head. So this is at least a six to seven foot charging cable. Let me also say, uh, click that like button down below and the subscribe button that's over here and uh, check out indulgeclothing.com to get some of our merch. Back to this charger. It always goes in on the opposite side from where you need it. If you notice when you open this laptop, the way the back, this actually, see it rising there? Let me see if I can focus on that. So when I open this all the way up, you'll see it lift. Look at that. 
that gives you that added little lift in there. That's just how it's designed now. Quick tutorial of the ports here. Two regular USB type ports. Of course, a full keyboard. I'm not certain if it's backlit. I'll tell you that in a moment. I don't see it listed here. This does have the Nano Edge display, so that means it has the tiny bezels, which is pretty nice. And then on this side, that's your charging port. That's another standard USB port. A full HDMI port, a USB type C port, your microphone jack, and even a micro SD card reader, not a full SD card reader. And uh, nothing along the front here. All right, I think we can hit this power button and start getting this little bad boy set up. And just so you're all aware, uh, it is a backlit keyboard. I feel like almost every laptop has this now. It even has a fingerprint reader here, and that's one of my favorite features of new laptops. Look at that beautiful screen. This thing has a full HD 15.6 inch non touch screen. It is not a touch screen, but it has a backlit keyboard. Let's go over the specs real quick here. So the specs you're looking at here is a i5, which is a 10th gen, so it's the latest. Windows 10 Home, eight gigs of RAM. Now, one of the things that you don't see listed here is the NVIDIA graphic. If we go into our device manager and we go to display adapters, we have an NVIDIA GeForce MX250, which is not going to play Fortnite at high frame rates or anything like that, but it's definitely gonna help out over your standard Intel UHD graphics because this comes with its own two gigs of dedicated GPU RAM. So that helps you out a ton. You have your eight gigs here for Windows, two gigs down here, your CPU, and it does have a 500 gig Intel SSD, 512 gig Intel SSD. And that's kind of it from a spec standpoint. So um, for $699, this laptop is a uh, it's pretty good. It's not gonna be anything that's gonna blow you away. This is not made for gaming or anything like that. But with the graphics card that's in this, it's gonna make running certain applications that need better graphics smoother. So like Minecraft would be a little smoother. If you're doing any uh, schooling on this and you've got all those moving windows and stuff, that would be a little smoother. Um, but to be honest, this is kind of a general use laptop. It's not. It's not a gaming laptop. It's not really a business laptop. It's just kind of a, a general use laptop. That's what I would call it at least. The graphics card helps out with your performance. So you're able to do a little more than you could with like a standard laptop, which is something that I would say is for the mom that just gets on Facebook and checks her email every day. They need a standard laptop. They don't even need the graphics card. This is like general use. You can do a little more with this than you could with a standard, but you can't do as much as you could with a gaming laptop. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't really have like a ranking level for this laptop or anything. From a speed standpoint, from what I've seen so far, the windows are opening quickly, which they should with the processor and the solid state drive and the amount of RAM in this thing. So I don't think you're really gonna see much of an issue when it comes to using this laptop. The only time you're gonna run into an issue is if you're trying to play a really high-end game or if you're trying to edit like 4K video or something, there's a software that maybe isn't fit for these specs. I know that Lightroom wants you to have at least a two gig dedicated graphics card and four gigs of RAM. So theoretically, this laptop could probably run Lightroom fairly smoothly, but if I was buying this laptop to run Lightroom, I would have bought a slightly higher end laptop. I think that will do it for this video though. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And if you can, click that like button for me. Click subscribe down below. Make sure you check out our merch line at indulgeclothing.com and I will see you in the next video. Deuces. As I open this package and look inside, I see that Amazon threw the adhesive sticker in the packaging and mailed it instead of throwing it away.